Um, hi. Right, I actually forgot. Thanks. <laughs> it's very easy to forget that you can't touch things. Look, kid, if it's too hot in there, maybe try sleeping without the blanket. Oh, right. <gasps> I'm gonna no, drag that's in. not what I meant. I, I mean it's too cold. Haha. -ha. Too cold. Um, yeah, I must have misspoke. It's too cold. And that's my problem. Why? You know what, kid? I'm done. You can freeze or sweat or both. It's not my problem. Well, that was quick. If your experience is anything to go by, this guard will be out for at least half an hour. Nothing on him. Oh, iron key. There you go. Give me the key. Give me, give me the key. Cool, cool, cool. That's it. Quick, unlock the door. I'm trying. How? Oh, there we go. You did it. Yeah. So what now? We're, uh... We sneak out. We don't make a run for it. Um, no. I can't disappear like you can. Look at what I'm wearing. I can't just walk out of here dressed like this. Can you get me some new clothes? Anything will work. Anything but this ugly orange prison uniform. How about that guard over there? Put on his uniform. Leland? He's bigger than I am. I'd look like a clown. I need something smaller. Fine. Sit tight. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe you should go somewhere. Right. Hmm. I need to find you a disguise, but how do I get in those bathrooms? Maybe I can dress up as a police officer. You just found it on the floor. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, I just got off shift. Who the hell are you? Well, I guess I can't do that. He doesn't see me here. Hmm. Hello. Off-duty prison guard. Jesus Christ! I can't do much. There we go. Now I can open this. Peacefully. Quietly. Dirty cloth rag. Okay, let's sneak on out of here. Now how do I get the pants? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just got off shift. I'm just waiting for the rain to ease up a bit. Well, new shoes, you know? My car is parked ten blocks away. Sure, I'll pick some up. It's on the way. I know, I keep forgetting. Oh, is the guard back up? See, I'm not forgetting now. Does it smell really bad in here? 
I bet it smells really bad in here. E probably. Can I just freak him out? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just got off shift. I'm just waiting for the rain to ease up a bit. Come on. Who the hell are you? Hmm. The water is not lo loud enough. Huh. Dirty cloth rag. Okay, let's do that. Hmm. Okay. You ready to go? Not yet. There's something we need to do in here. Oh, come on! I'm just trying things, KK. Relax. And I thought Logan was weird. Uh-huh. Yeah, I just got off shift. I'm just waiting for the rain to ease up a bit. There we go. Ah, oh, gross! Very gross. Oh, I am not getting blamed for this. So you're not even gonna turn off the water? What a guy. Oh, come on, game. Are you just gonna let this run? What a waste. I would have closed it. For the record. Come on, come on! I'm bored! I know, I know. Can I go inside these? No. Oh, I can't go in his cell? That's annoying. I wanted to touch the, the mirror there. Oh, damn it. Oh my... Yes, yes, I forgot again. <laughs> KK is just grilling me. Alright, I think this is it, KK. I don't think we're gonna see each other anymore. Hmm, sad. I like KK. There you go, my man. A full police uniform. Okay, those are kind of my size. That should work. Still need to do something about this shirt, though. No problem. Got you covered. It's a bit small, but it should do fine. Thanks. Okay, you got me a full uniform, but I need a cap to go with it. It'll go a long way in covering my face. Way ahead of you. Perfect. Thanks. Okay, I think that's everything I need. Could you, um, turn around for a sec? Okay, give me a minute. Okay, here I go. And, um, thanks, I guess. You're welcome. Okay, now we have to get out of here. You too, Randy? Yeah, took it right off the bench. I was only gone for a few minutes. They took it right out of my locker. Who the hell does that? You sure nothing of yours is missing, son? Not that I know of. Huh. Yeah, huh. Well, looks like he made it. You ready to go? Ready to go. And this time, I'm remembering that I can't touch things. What happens if we just go out? Are the ghosts gonna be angry? Huh. Looks like the power's wearing off. Oh well, it's been fun. See ya when you die! I guess so. Ah, Jesus, KK! Don't do that! Everything go okay in there? Yeah. KK had my back. Yeah, she always does. Anyway, Mondana went with Kevin to the restaurant. We should meet him there. Tell KK I loved working with her. She, uh, just stuck her tongue out at you. Anyway, right behind you.
All right, time to set this dragon free. Good. You have returned. So, is the dragon gone? Um, not yet. I was hoping you could come with me. I don't want to face it alone. Is there a problem? I don't know. Maybe? In my dreams, the dragon is so... angry. In all my dad's stories, it was never angry. I'm... scared. Anyway, I'll meet you on the roof. Don't you need ribbon and tea first? No, that's only to summon it. To send it away, I just need to be near the tree. On the roof. Good thing, too. That tea is disgusting. Anyway, I'll meet you up there. But, yeah, you shouldn't be facing it alone. It will probably gobble you up. Let us move forward. Kevin said he was on the roof? Indeed. Let us move. Kevin? Something wrong? What happens... after? Do I go back to jail? Go on the run? That will not happen. We will put a veil on you. It disguises your identity. You will be safe. Oh, that's... good, I guess. Hmm, I hope the dragon doesn't kill you. Anyway, oh, can I still go to that other world and meet with KK? No, we can't. Well, at least we got to meet KK. Kevin? Yeah, sorry, I was just remembering. My mom was always making me study cookbooks, making me memorize old family recipes, and my dad would drill me in the kitchen. You always hate that stuff as a kid, but right now, I miss it more than anything. Sorry about killing your parents and all that. Kevin Wong, you have come at last. Yeah, well, I've barely slept for months thanks to you. And I have not eaten. I wish to go home. Yeah, home. I am waiting, Kevin Huang. Fulfill your family duty. Not yet. I want something. Another winning lottery number. Dude, come on. You overstep yourself, Kevin Huang. And none of the usual five-figure stuff either. I'm talking the Mega Million Jackpot. If this creature has suffered enough, you're getting greedy. And it will attract a lot of attention, man. You're already wanted. Even the veil can't protect you that much. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I don't care. We possess your original lottery ticket, Kevin. Your winning lottery ticket. It's not enough. It's not nearly enough. Fifty thousand dollars is plenty. Yeah, man. That's more than enough to start a new life. I don't want a new life. This restaurant belongs to my family. It should stay in my family. The bank repossessed this place. I need to buy it back before someone else does. 50,000 won't cut it. Do this for me, dragon. Do this and I will burn the banana tree. Nobody will ever summon you again. Please, you must. The effort involved, the mental strain. It might kill me. It might, but might not. Please, Kevin Huang, let me go! Oh, I'm sorry, am I hearing ethical advice from the person who murdered my family? You're the one who took it all away. You can help me get it back. You owe this to me. Doesn't matter. It still happened. They're still dead. I'm still accused of killing them. You said the unavowed helps people. So maybe help me now and back me up on this? Because it's been in my family for four generations. It stood for almost a century. I'm not gonna let that end. Not while I can still do something about it. So how about it, dragon? Give me a winning set of numbers and I'll send you home. Forever. Ooh, join the unavowed instead. What? Join you guys? You have experienced the supernatural. You seek a new purpose. It is an ideal match for you. And I'd have to work with her? The one who shot my parents? She did not. Yeah, yeah, I know. Possession. But I'd still have to look at her all day. Every day. 
I don't think I could do that. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, okay, we gave you plenty of good deals. And how are you going to do that? It's not like you can stop me. Only I have the power to send the dragon back. And only we have the power to veil you. Wait, what? You just let the cops throw me back in jail? You can't! That's not right! I didn't do anything! Not yet, you haven't. Please, please! Some corporate chain is gonna buy this place. They'll destroy it! Turn it into a plastic boutique or a condo! My family would have died for nothing. You can't let that happen, please! Don't do this! Hmm, I can ask my, uh, colleagues. I have centuries of artifacts of my father's life at home. I would fight tooth and nail to keep them safe. Can I fault Kevin for doing the same? I know his pain all too well. It is an ethical dilemma for certain. Regardless, I will support whatever choice you make. Cool, cool, cool. I think the Huang family's been relying on this magic dragon for long enough. Whichever way this goes, that needs to end. Well, I'm sorry, Kevin. Okay. Okay. Kevin Huang? I am still waiting. You can go. I release you. Thank you. I... I'm sorry. I had to try. You understand? For Mom and Dad. I understand. I recently lost a father, too. But this is not the way. Yeah, you're right. I get that. I... always did like this view. I thought I'd be looking at it forever. Okay, I'm ready. Well, if I'm going by, uh, me, time to wake up. Something's, uh, something's wrong. Time to get up now. <sighs> um, I can't really control me. Stop walking. <sighs> More rain. Too bad I can't do anything about that. Yet. Uh-oh. Ah, you are awake. Good. I'm possessed again. Oh, shit. Did I oversleep? Sorry about that. It is no matter. I used the extra time for training. I was gonna say, it's good to see you back at it. It feels good as well. The routine helps. Is Eli downstairs? I thought I'd check in on him. He is rarely anywhere else. Okay, I'll leave you to your training. Thank you. Well, this is not great. Hey, Eli. Oh, hey. Just a sec. What's up? I'm possessed again. Just wanted to check in before we head out again. Everything okay? Yeah, uh, sure. I'm still processing everything from last night. That poor kid. Losing his family like that. And then his family's legacy on top of that. Maybe it would have been worth the risk. The dragon might have survived. It's complicated, I guess. I don't think the dragon would have sur survived. <laughs> you know what else is complicated? I'm possessed. The dragon was innocent, and Kevin will be fine. He's gonna collect $50,000. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Ugh, what a predicament. And this time, I'm conscious. Ugh. Something wrong? Nothing. Sorry. Just a headache. It's nothing. How about you head upstairs? Yeah. Sure. See you there. Listen, you. I fought tooth and nail to get back into this body, and I'm not giving it up again now. So you stay calm? And you stay quiet, until I figure out how to shut you up for good. 
Not everything. Not by a long shot. So, just relax, would you? I can't focus with you jabbering away in my head. <laughs> what did you say? <sighs> it doesn't matter. You'll go to sleep in time, just like you did before. I'll just have to ignore you till then. Hey, you all right? You're looking a little intense there. Who, me? Sorry, I was just reading that poster over there. That's where they do Shakespeare plays on the subway, right? Yeah, Maury and I used to do that back in the day. Good times. You've never killed Julius Caesar until you've done it in Times Square Station during rush hour. Sorry. I shouldn't be thinking about the past so much. It happens to all of us. Don't worry. We all face an uncertain future. Retreating to the past can be... comforting. For some of us, maybe. But I know what you mean. Well, this is just great. I'm possessed now. Oh, I can, uh... I can talk to people. Help the living for once. Stop staring at KK and look at me. Huh? No, I didn't say anything. Something wrong? KK says someone's calling your name. She is? Ooh, KK can hear me. I swear to God, I'm not saying your name. Oh, is this our stop? What's wrong? What? She's possessed again. What? what? <sighs> you know, I really thought I could make it work this time. Jesus, what hit me? Oh, crap. Guys, wake up. The unavowed will find you. Don't be so sure. It took them a year to find me the first time, and that's only because I screwed up. You screwed up? They took so long, I didn't even notice them on my tail until it was too late. I got cocky. What can I say? I'm only human. I'm only human. Where are we going? Don't know. I've been running through these old maintenance tunnels at random. If I don't know where we're going, then nobody else will either. I'll find an exit eventually. Then, I'll plan my next move. What is your plan? Figure out what to do with you to start with. Really, you're nothing but trouble. I guess technically that's true, but how was I supposed to know that it would lead to this? Lead to what? You really don't know, do you? Jesus, how messed up is this? You really don't know, dude. Jesus. Yeah, very clever. Wait, you're not kidding, are you? Oh my god. That's kind of funny. What's funny? Just the irony. You wouldn't get it. Hi. Oh, it's you. Kill me, Eli. Yeah, fry me. Oh my god, shut up! Yeah, my kids used to say that when I told them to clean their room. Guess how well it turned out for them. Here's a hint. Not as bad as it'll turn out for you. How the hell did you find me down here? Oh, that? I've got your energy signature, remember? From the ritual knife? The what? Forgot about that, did you? We couldn't find you before because we could only track the version of you that possessed that body. So, you know, thanks. You actually made our jobs much easier. Easier, huh? I know where your power comes from, Fire Mage. I know how it works. You think I can't defend against you? Just try it. Me? No, I wouldn't dream of it. I'm just the distraction. Huh? <laughs> 